Hey y'all, welcome back to Bass Box and Outdoors. Today we're going to do a little unboxing from Tackle Warehouse. Anyways, be sure uh, if you haven't to uh, get in on that real giveaway I've got going on. Uh, I think it's the last video I did. If not, it's the other one before that. Uh, so be sure to get in on that. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to dive into this box and see what we got. Uh, anyways, be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, you know, share the video if you want to, and uh, get this channel growing, that way I can do more giveaways. But anyways, let's dive in here and see what we got this time. Should be a sticker in here somewhere. Uh, Alright, so first of all, I'm going to start off with the Placid Shed and Sticky Brisket. Uh, four and a quarter inches long, six piece. These baits right here are really, really cool. I fished with them over the weekend. Didn't have no luck on them. I will tell you this, they come through the water really, really well. The only thing is, do not put them on a underspin or they will he helicopter through the water. But other than that, any other kind of jig head you got, they should work just fine on them. Uh, I was using them on the Berkeley Fusion and uh, they swam through the water really well and uh, anyways like I said if you want to get these chase, chase baits while they're cheap you might want to get on Tackle Warehouse and get them because I'm sure the price will go up on them before too long. Uh, Next up, we got some uh, Berkeley Power Bait, uh, designed by Skeet Reese, and this is called the Cash Out, and this is a Ned Rig, and the color of this one is Margarita Red. And basically, it's just a little low Ned bait. Got a little ribbed inside. Got that little, like, sp uh, spear tail on it. And then it's got that purple and blue on top. Pretty cool little color. It's got little, little red flakes in it. I figure you'd use that on a drop shot or a Ned rig. Uh, get 10 of them in a pack and they're three inches long next up we got some uh, Beast Coast Blade Runners 4.15 inches long and this one's in the Pro Pearl These are a pretty cool little bait. They were, de they were designed to be run behind a, uh, a vibrating jig. Got the little split tail on there. But I figure, you know, just because it was designed for one thing don't mean you can't use it for another. Got a little segment. Segmented tail. Definitely got a smell to it, but uh, 
Anyways, I bought a pack of these and I liked them, so I went through and got the other color. I do like the new clamshell that they have for the stuff, uh, you know, Beast Coast, they make some good stuff, so I'm sure this will work just as well as all the rest of the other stuff is. They got that new crawl out, which I picked up a pack of those as well. Saving all the hard baits for last. Alright, so here's something new. This right here is the Grande Bass Snako in Red Bug. This is five inches long. This is really cool looking looking little bait. Basically, a little stick bait with this ribbed tail. I thought that would be real, real cool. You can whack your rig it right down the middle. Have you a little thing going on. Or you could Texas rig it and have that little end floating up. Anyway, it's going to displace a lot of water with that ribbed tail. And uh, you get eight of them. Yeah, eight. Next up, uh, we have some uh, Bass Assassin Vapor Sheds. And this one's in Phantom Green. I've been wanting to try some of their fluke style lures, so I got this bad boy. Check out the color on that one. Really cool color. But anyways, looks just like any other kind of fluke. The only difference is there is kind of some like ridges up here on the top and you get quite a few of them. You get 10 of them and they're 5 inches long. And it says they make a perfect trailer. Next up, we got some uh, chase bait, paddle bait, and this one's in pearl minnow, four inches long, five count. I've already showed you all these a few times, so anyways, I just went through and got a new color. That's pretty much it. Next up, we got the Marada, and this is in toxic bug by beast coast four and a quarter inches long i like the marauder pretty cool looking little bait and this is a their version of a june bug it's a real real dark june bug it's like a black almost a black But anyway, there's that. Thought I'd give those a shot. And I could have come with six of them. Yeah. And then next up, this is a new lure that just come out by Nicholas Lures. And it's called the Flapjack. And uh, it's a five count. This one's black and blue. 
and anyways I thought this thing right here would make a really good trailer or you could just swim it through the water got that rib body and then you got this big old tail which does have those like little ridges on there like uh you know your rage tail claws and stuff so it's gonna kick a lot of water but i bet behind a vibrating jig that'll be really really well or spinner bait or whatever you like to throw but those are new those just come out so i decided to pick up a pack of those they come in a pack of five uh it don't say how long they are or anything but anyways next up i bought a team arc ts 115 uh four and a half inches long weighs 11 sixteenths of an ounce and this one's au pro blue I've gotten a few of these now. I really like them. You can see that hologram. Got that blue on it. Pretty much see through. Got a little bit of pearl white on the bottom with that chartreuse. But got that hologram flash. Pretty cool. You ain't never fish with team arc stuff, I would recommend it. They really have awesome on it's like a pencil hopper. And uh it works really well as well. Anyways, that's a good bait. Next up uh, I bought a Savage Gear 3D Cicada. This one's two inches long and weighs a quarter of an ounce. And basically, I just went through. They had three colors, and I bought two of them already, so I got the last color. Uh, this one is called Black and Brown. Pretty cool looking. Looks more natural. Next up is a new lure from Molex. This one weighs uh, 3 eighths of an ounce. Uh, so it's color number 18. Uh, which is a bloody pumpkin. And this one is 3, three inches long I think. But anyways, you know, everybody's making a bait, some kind of bait like this. Pretty cool looking color. I like it. Real cool. They turn the tail upside down. And then you got this little weed guard right here that protects your hook. So, you know, if something bites it, it's going to move out of the way. Really cool looking little bait. Almost looks like the Agent E with the flipped upside down tail. I do that because I was shaking them because some of them have rattles in them. Like the Agent E, if you listen really close to it, a lot of people don't know, but it does have a little rattle to it. Uh, I didn't know I had a rattle to it until uh, I was watching Edwin Evers and he said that there was a little bitty rattle in there. But anyways, that is the new Molex. This is called the RT Flip Tail 3 inch weedless inverted paddle tail. <clears throat> and then last but not least, 
this is what all the hype has been about. We got the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill. Check that little dude out. Uh, this color right here is called Wild Gill. It's 3.2 inches long and weighs 3 fourths of an ounce. I'm going to try to open this up without tearing it all to crap. I'm going to try to keep it in its little clamshell and packaging until I use it. I don't know why they feel the need to staple everything. Alright, so we finally got that out. So that's what all the hype is about. There we go. So of course, you can tell that right there is a big old boot tail for such a little bait and uh but look at the color scheme on that thing and then of course you got your hidden hook i do know that i was i heard that you need to cut that down a little bit this is what i'm gonna do Cut that down that way it'll open up wider. And anyways, you got that big old hook. But check out that dude. He's really cool. Nice color. And you know, unlike most of them, these right here you're actually just gonna swim through the water. I mean, you can jig it up and down if you want to, I'm sure. Uh, but this right here was made to be swimmed. And these little guys right here are hard to get your hands on. I'm surprised I was able to get my hands on them. I just happened to be on there at the right time. I'll show you this color, but I'm not going to take it out because y'all can see it just good. This one right here is called Secret Gill. And as of right now, they only come in one size and one weight. And that's three quarters of an ounce and 3.2 inches. Well, anyways, y'all, that is the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you'd be interested in using out of this box if you had it. Uh... Anyway, thanks again. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, you know, that really helps my channel. It helps push my video out there. Leave a comment. I respond to everybody. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for today. So I will see y'all on the next one.